Hello students, this is Mr. Talmadge again. <clears throat> I want to show you how to uh, color your Excel map so that when it when you see it on Excel it looks uh, looks nice. First thing you're going to do is open up paint. Then we're going to find the Excel map background file from the uh, public folder on the user share. Then we're going to select the colors that we want to use. Then we're going to select the right tool to use to color it. Then we're going to zoom in on different parts of Washington to uh, do the precise detail work. So let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and open up Paint. You can do that from the Start menu, going to All Programs. You can see it's actually already right there on my computer, but if it wasn't there, you can go to All Programs, then up to the Accessories menu and then find paint right there. I've already got it opened up. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> From here, I need to put the Excel map uh, background picture file, this one here, into the paint program. To do that, you go to File and Open. And then just locate that picture. It'll be on the uh, user share in the public folder and then in the Talmadge folder, which, which is right there. Uh, easy way to find that would be to type in the word Talmadge in the file name box. That actually opens up that folder for you. And then we want the file located right here, this one here, Excel Map Background. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. <clears throat> and that puts it into my Excel, or I'm sorry, into my Paint program. I'm going to zoom out a little bit on this. Okay, so from here, you need to select your tools and your colors. I think it's a good idea to make uh, Washington different colors based on the geographic regions. There's a, a map on page 200, page 51 in your textbook that shows you, but if I wanted to paint the peninsula green, the Olympic Peninsula, I take the paint can up here, select my green color, and I can hit that part right there, and I might have to erase a little bit, let's see. So I would take the eraser and make my size really big, and I can simply erase that, but it also erases some of those lines. So I'm going to actually undo what I've done here. <coughs> there we go. So if I wanted to paint, I could take the paintbrush, make it be pretty big, and I can paint it uh, this way too. If I wanted to do the different regions. And do that. So it seems like the paint can is a, is a really easy way to get it all to be one color. <clears throat> like this, I can just select the different parts. Notice how it's keeping the keeping the rivers from being from being green. So if I wanted to do the rivers, I could select blue. I selected the paintbrush. Let's see what happens. I can color those in like that. I can do a different size if I want. And it takes some work. So if I want to do the really precise work, I'm going to go to View and Zoom. I'm going to go Large Size. And I can go to the different parts that I need to do. I can select the different size for my paintbrush. I can paint it in like so. That's for the detail work. And when I want to see how it looks, I can zoom back out to a normal size and see if it looks okay. It might take you a little bit getting used to it, but you can see basically how it's supposed to work. So now you have we've selected colors, we've selected a tool, and we've zoomed in for precision. So that's how to color your Excel map using paint.